Now let's understand what is corrosion. When a metal is exposed to the environment, means in the environment there is moisture and oxygen is there. A oxide layer is formed on the surface of metal, which is called the metal oxide layer. This layer is actually undesirable to some metals and desirable to some metals. So this layer is called corrosion of metal. Usually in case of iron, this oxide layer is undesirable and the metal is corroded and corroded and the whole iron piece get damaged due to this corrosion. Now let us understand in which metal corrosion is good and in which metal corrosion is bad. Here taking the example of rusting of iron. Rusting of iron is nothing but corrosion of iron piece. Here take the piece of pure iron. Pure iron is Fp. When it in contact with the environment means oxygen and water vapor, its surface exposed to oxidation process means iron oxide is formed on the surface of iron which is brittle in nature. Due to brittle in nature, the layer of the outer surface shed off. Shed off means now the new iron piece exposed to the environment. Again this iron piece oxidized and become brittle in nature. Now this process again repeat and repeat and the whole metal piece is eaten up. So corrosion is very harmful for the iron articles. Now take the example of other metal that is aluminium. Aluminium when exposed to the environment a layer of aluminium oxide is formed on the surface of aluminium. Aluminium oxide layer is more stronger than aluminium metal itself. So if the aluminium oxide layer is more stronger, so there is a further oxidation of aluminium metal not takes place because already a stronger air of aluminium oxide present on the surface. So the further oxidation not takes place the metal becomes strong and the metal is not eaten up. So ox oxidation process is also useful to some metals. Now you can see many articles in our daily life which we use are made up of iron articles like our table, our chair, our main gate. These all are made from iron article and also the corrosion of iron is very harmful. So how we avoid this corrosion? There are some steps which we have to follow in order to avoid the corrosion. What is the main cause of corrosion? Main cause of corrosion is the metal oxidation. So we have to avoid the oxidation of the surface of the metal. So what is the source of oxidation? Source of oxidation is environment. It means we have to cut down the link between the metal surface and the environment. Now to cut the link between the outer surface of the iron and the environment, we can use these different methods. First is by applying the paint on the surface or by applying the oil on the surface or by applying the grease on the surface according to the different application. The most important application, the most important process is actually used a galvanization. What is galvanization? A zinc layer is coated on the surface of the iron metal. Why we put the zinc layer on the iron metal? Because zinc layer will not oxidize easily. Not oxidize easily, it means the inner iron will not oxidize easily. So it prevent the corrosion of iron piece and our iron piece get prevent from the damage. Here are few examples which you may note down. These are the examples in which metal on corrosion changes its color. These are important examples important for your exam point of view. Now coming to the next concept that is rancidity. Now what is rancidity? Rancidity is a process in which a food articles get oxidized and a foul or bad smell is coming out from the food, the food is called 
rancid food so this process is called rancidity how a food get rancid see there are so many bacteria are present in the environment the bacteria actually oxidize the food when the food is in contact with the environment and the food get rancid as you may can see in your daily life that if we put a milk outside the refrigerator after one or two days a foul smell is coming from the milk and the taste of the milk becomes sour it means the milk is oxidized so the milk become rancid a foul smell is coming and the taste of the food product get change on rancidity now how to prevent rancidity the cause of rancidity is actually the bacteria which is decomposing the food and get oxidized it means we have to cut down the contact of the food with the bacteria how we cut down this contact either we put the food in the vacuum state vacuum state there is no oxygen or any gas is present vacuum means there is no gas so if the food is in no gas so the food will not get oxidized or we put the food in the inert gas like in the lace packet the lace packet nitrogen gas is filled the nitrogen gas cut down the contact of, contact of the lace with the environment so oxidation process not takes place either at low temperature the bacteria efficiency decreases means oxidation process decreases so we can put the food in the refrigerator or in some cases like in the meat the food is kept in a frozen state here are some steps to prevent the rancidity you may note down these 